PL dash WA one two zero one. Okay, and uh, this access point, we also can make it as a range extender. Okay, means that the wireless network, if let's say quite far away from your desktop or the smartphone or tablet, we can make this uh, access point. Okay, one two zero one as a range extender mode that means the Wi-Fi can go through as a bridge and reach to our smartphone or the laptop then we can get the excellent Wi-Fi signal let's take a look my smartphone Uni4 is my home Wi-Fi Okay, and a uh, uniform 5G, also my home Wi-Fi with 5 gigahertz, and uh, these two TP-Link one double E0 5G, and the TP-Link one double E0. Okay, this is a uh, access point SSID. This is a default SSID for this TP-Link access point. Okay, and uh, you can see the unified the signal is not that strong okay and uh, for the TP-Link IEE 5G and uh, TP-Link IEE 0 these two you can see they can get the strong uh, Wi-Fi signal okay let's start how to uh, how to uh, configure this uh, TP-Link access point as a Wi-Fi extender okay now we want to configure this access point as a Wi-Fi extender okay so before that we must forget our own forget our own home Wi-Fi okay okay got another one unified G okay okay it's not enabled now what I want to do is we connect one of these uh, TP-Link 1 double E0 this is a 2.4 and uh, we key in the password password or pin number where to get this uh, pin number okay actually yes yeah, the back of this TP-Link access point you can see the pin number here okay so the pin number is 3656 2091 okay connect okay it's connected but it's not in there no internet and same thing on this uh, tippling i double e 5g want to switch modern no thanks so okay same password or same ip 3656 Zero nine one. Okay. Now I connected to this five G. Okay. Same. No internet. So. No thanks. And now we connect to this two point four. Okay, it's connected. And then we use the browser. Okay. And uh, we put in the URL. No thanks. Okay, the URL is tp link ap dot net. Okay. Okay. The first time you log in, you are asked for the password. You can you can uh, key in whatever password you want. So I just simply put in. Um, Okay, actually, he asked for the one to the two character or alphabet or number. I make it simple. I just put a number, one one two one 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 two one. Okay, and same here, one one two one 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 two one. This password is for access to this uh, access point. Okay, so compare and see is it correct or not one one two one 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 two one okay 
let's get start okay we manage to log in you can see here they got four modes for the first one the access point now What I want to do is on the range extender. Range extender that means extend the Wi Fi. Range your existing wireless network by relaying wireless signal. Okay, you choose this one. Okay, you go to next. Here, the next button. percent okay scanning and now it's configure the 2.4 host network okay now it's come to 100 percent okay we found we found that uh, which one is a home wi-fi uniform is my home wi-fi okay i select it then of course asking for the home wi-fi password you key in your home wi-fi password this is my home wi-fi password okay and then you're not sure you can rescan okay so i just next looking for this uh, 5 gigahertz host network one this is not my home my fine okay then you can skip it or rescan I try to rescan and see forty five percent scanning scanning can see that now come to 100% still not my home Wi-Fi so what I do is I put other then I key in okay uni4 underscore 5g is my home Wi-Fi okay and the security yeah the security I choose WPA BSK or WPA2 that's BSK okay this one and of course of course you will ask for the password you key in your password okay this is my password okay then you click next okay they tell you that your existing SSID is uniform and the password is this one now is uni another one uni for 5g the password is one confirm or not please confirm your host network password confirm okay you confirm password confirm okay now this time come to 2.4 already done 5 gigahertz network done done wireless setting okay come to here you get another you can change your name if you want to you want to put another you want to put another name now I put it in uniform underscore ESD okay and uh, for 5 gigahertz they put uniform 5G and SEXT okay you want to hide or not I'm not going to hide okay I just okay save hit the save button okay click save just wait for a while applying the setting okay applying the setting not to finish wait for a while come to now come to 55 percent 57 58 okay until 100 percent okay 100 percent congratulations Say your extender is ready to use. Please connect to the new extender network. Okay, is it easy? Now the SSID new 
two forty two by four in this one and a five gigahertz. Okay, so you deem then you must accept. I am connected to the extended network. Yeah, then click finish. This is a Uni 4 Pi G at EXT and the other one Uni 4 EXT. So you can see there's an excellent signal. So I get this one. And uh, remember what is the password? A F R I K A I T A L Y. Hey, dollar. So MC. Okay, connect. Is connected means that got internet and for the four five for the uni four five gst okay we key in the same password a f r i k a i t a l y dollar okay correct connect okay both i managed to connect and get the excellent Wi-Fi, okay. My Android phone usually I like to use this uh, two point four. Okay. Let's go to YouTube. Play YouTube video. Okay. Any video and see. Okay, this one. This is the way that how to uh, setting this access point as a Wi-Fi extender. Okay. We already configured this access point one two zero one as a Wi-Fi extender. Okay. One more thing I want to tell you that you can see at the back of one of port we can connect one of the LAN cable and then link to our laptop or the desktop means that we can use our desktop we can use a LAN cable okay now this laptop already linked with the LAN cable okay I'm able to play YouTube or anything use the LAN cable 